this is the story of Mr. Quiet. The story of Mr. Quiet. I won't whisper at all because I'll end up with no voice at the end. Mr. Quiet liked the quiet life. He lived quietly in a small little cottage in the middle of a wood. The problem was that the small little cottage was in the middle of a wood in the middle of a country called Loudland. Everything and everybody in Loudland was noisy. Oh, the noise. Did you live there, noisy boy? Dogs didn't go woof like the dogs you know. They went woof. Oh dear, that's not good. People didn't shut their doors like you or I would shut our doors. They slammed them. Bang! People didn't talk to each other. They shouted at each other. Hello! They'd shout as they met in the street. And you've heard about something being as quiet as a mouse, haven't you? Not in Loudland. They had the noisiest mouse in the world. Squeak! Squeak! They'd roar at each other. Mr Noisy would have liked living in Loudland. He'd have loved it. But Mr Quiet didn't. Noise frightened him. So he stayed in his cottage in the middle of his wood as much as he could. But of course, he couldn't stay there all the time. Every week, for instance, he had to go shopping. He used to creep into the grocer's shop. Good morning, bellowed the grocer. What can I do for you? Please, whispered Mr Quiet. Could I have some cornflakes, please? What? Cornflakes, please, he whispered. Speak up. Mr Quiet tried his loudest whisper. Cornflakes! Can't hear you, shouted the grocer. Next, please. And poor Mr Quiet had to creep away without any cornflakes. It wasn't fair, was it? He crept into the butcher's. Please, he whispered. I'd like some meat. <coughs> the butcher didn't even hear him. He was humming to himself loudly and fiercely. Mr Quiet tried again. Please, he whispered. I'd like some meat. The butcher started to whistle. It sounded more like a burglar alarm than a whistle. Mr Quiet fled empty-handed. It often happened, which probably explains why he was so little. Poor Mr Quiet. Seems like he's running. He sat at home that night with a feeling of despair. Whatever am I to do, he thought. It's no use, he thought. I'll just have to try again. And so the following day, he went shopping again. But the same thing happened. Can't hear you, thundered the grocer. Next, please. Can't hear you, bellowed the greengrocer. Next, please. Can't hear you, roared the milkman. Next, please. Can't hear you, boomed the butcher. Next, please. Oh, dear. Poor Mr Quiet went home and went to bed. Hungry. The next morning, he was awakened by a noise which sounded like bombs dropping. It was the Loudland postman knocking at Mr Quiet's door. Bang, 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 bang. Mr Quiet went and opened the door. Morning, shouted the postman. Letter for you. Ooh. Mr Quiet took the letter into his kitchen. He sat down to open it. He waited until the noise of the postman's footsteps died away. Clump, 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 clump. Mr Quiet opened the letter in great excitement. He'd never had a letter before. It was from Mr Happy in Happy Land, an invitation to stay. Mr Quiet was overjoyed. He rushed upstairs and packed his bag and set off that very morning. It was late when he arrived on Mr Happy's doorstep. He knocked on Mr Happy's door. Tap, tap, tap. Mr Happy opened the door. Hello, he smiled. I thought I heard something. You must be Mr Quiet. Well, don't just stand there. Come in and have some supper. It was the first proper meal Mr Quiet had had for months. And while he was eating it, he told Mr Happy all about the problems he had been having in Loudland. Mr Happy was most sympathetic. Over breakfast the following morning, Mr Happy told Mr Quiet that he had been thinking about his problem. I think, he said, that under the circumstances you'd better stay here in Happy Land. Mr Quiet's face lit up. And, continued Mr Happy, we'll find you a house. And, he went on, a job. Mr Quiet's face dropped. I'm not very good at jobs, he confessed, because I am too quiet. Ah, smiled Mr Happy. I have the very job for a quiet chap like you. And so, the very next day, Mr Quiet started work. And he loves it. Do you know where he works? In the Happy Lending Library. As you know, everybody who goes into a library has to be very quiet and only whispering is allowed. What a clever idea of Mr Happy's, wasn't it? And these days, Mr Quiet is as happy as can be. Why, the only the other day, do you know what he did on his way home from work? He was so happy. He laughed out loud. Can you imagine? Tee hee hee. Next, please. 
All right, Tyler, bad news. Time for bed. So it's time for you to be Mr. Quiet for the night. I love you lots and lots and lots and lots. And today is... Today is Thursday. So tomorrow is the day I am planning on making cake. So that when you come home from school on Friday night, there will be some cakes at your house. Might be good. Oakley Dokley. I love you heaps and heaps, little man. Be good for daddy. Take care. Sleep well. Night, night.